Hello, it's Aubrey Shepard again with some photos, nature photos from South Fayetteville, Arkansas. Monarch butterflies still in style. They're migrating south right now, and I have, uh, well, let's see, this is the 10th of October, and I have four chrysalises in a box. You can see two small uh, monarch caterpillars. One of them's really small. That's a close-up of the really small one there. And those um, have already, well, let's see, the large one is in a chrysalis in a box in the house uh, being fed or no longer needing to be fed any more milkweed. Okay, this uh, is swamp milkweed, and you saw a lot of seed pods. That's a good thing. Uh, if you find some of those and they're opening, uh, get them and seed your yard with a few. And that's a Sclepius viridis going orange-leaved. That little bug, I don't know. It might be some kind of moth. I couldn't get a real good close-up. You can see from the side there, looks like wings, and you can see a head and front feet, but I can't tell anything about it. I hope somebody will call me and identify this for me. Maybe I'll stumble upon the information. That's an unusual picture. That is a smart weed, and it has grown up right through the middle of this patch of um, mist flowers, and I thought that made a better picture than just one of them alone. Maybe you'll see one of them alone. But uh, this has a uh, one of those attack bugs, one of those bugs that hide and attack other critters uh, on the, on the uh, mist flower. And this is, of course, an evening primrose. And this is a little beetle that's actually named for some other, uh, you know, they, they do attack some fruit if you had, uh, or, or a certain vegetable in your garden. Well, this guy might be a pest. But as it is, he's quite harmless in a flower garden. There's a swamp milkweed that you can see the stems, the big brown broken off stem there just above it and so forth. That's regrowth and that those stems were earlier in the year and one of them was even last year's stem. But it's grown out enough to feed a monarch. That's a tiny legume uh, flower whose name I can't call at the moment. This is uh, Asclepius viridis, the um, antelope horns milkweed or spider milkweed and it has uh, rebloomed late in the season and it's got seed pods and and that's what happens when you have a drought and then you have uh, everything dies back and then you have some new growth and and things perk up okay these two um, buckeye butterflies are are uh, pretty close friends and they're helping to, hoping to uh, leave some eggs in certain appropriate places on World Peace Wetland Prairie and uh, have a new generation born while they go off uh, on their merry way and uh, migrate, I guess. I, I uh, know they migrate and I know that they're on every uh, habitable continent on, on Earth that uh, we know about. And there's a different uh, angle on uh, same one of the same ones. But anyway, I love the, the beauty of these. When you get them still and get some angles like this, it's a great delight. And I'm not sure I picked, uh, selected the best photos I made, but uh, they're certainly better than a lot of them I make at different times. And tend to want to get the get them from the top back. But this kind of view is, is pretty special. So until next time, this is Albert Shepherd asking you to keep the vegetation in your yard as long as you can and that everything that uh, depends on a particular species make use of it. And keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya. Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepherd, and we have some... Uh, Pictures from highway department work and some of the wildflowers they're destroying with some of the pollinators that need those wildflowers this time of year. Okay, that is goldenrod, one of the several species in Arkansas. That's a carpenter bee using it. 
That, of course, is at World Peace Wetland Prairie, where that guy's safe and that flower's safe until the very end. That's a kind of weevil. It's also on a golden rod, and uh, I can't tell you much about it except it's eating smaller little insects. Okay, that's the fall flight of monarch butterflies. It's probably that one's on the way to Mexico. You can see so it's so young and healthy, and it's a male. You can see that by a bump on the line there. And what's that? Oh, a groundhog. And he's poking his nose out of a hole after he'd run away from me. And of course, I knew what hole he was headed for by the direction he went. And I sort of quietly went up and got his photo. There's a tiny spider on a ironweed. And maybe, yeah, we got a little crop job on that uh, tiny spider. You can see more about him. He's also lurking for some dinner, and uh, no telling what he might catch there. You can see some of his web hanging. Some of these are, are simply lurking to grab. Some of them have a web like this, but a lot of, a lot of tiny spiders hang out on, on the flowers, and they take out an occasional important pollinator, but uh, it's a hard knock life, so they, they're lucky to have any flowers to, to shop on this time of year. There's a monarch on tiny aster. You can see there a white sulfur butterfly on white aster also. Those tiny asters don't bloom until late, this particular species. There are lots of them right now, but also they're being mowed down in many places. Because, well, if you've got a neighbor who says they're weeds and doesn't like them, well, you can't say much about that. But that's a fly that acts like a bee or uh, some other uh, member of the bee family. He looks like a wasp or bee, and he's a pollinator also. There's a monarch that's hanging uh, early in the morning, resting, uh, instead of uh, just a little bit early to start nectaring and uh, flying. Okay, that big machine on the highway, that's highway department, you can see the trailing part of it there is actually out on the roadway, and he's getting as far as he can over there. You can see he's now got it almost all the way off the highway and uh, where he's tracked some mud, and he's going up there to take out some vegetation way up on the very edge of the right-of-way. And that's something we just, you know, would like to discourage. Highway Department has a website on which it talks about, it shows wildflowers they plant, on certain stretches of highway in Arkansas. But here's one that's got wildflowers growing wild and they wipe them out, so it's kind of hard. And see that, that's stream side. Now they backed the machine up right down to the edge of the water and mowed uh, the whole area. There you can see that one pulled out onto the, from the stream side, it couldn't quite get down to it. On, that's the other side of that same stream. And then uh, track mud out and, and uh, actually probably going to cause some erosion right there above the stream by doing this right after we had a, finally had a decent rain in northwest Arkansas. These pictures were made on the, uh, uh, what's this, the fifth, is this the 15th now? Or 13th, I think, of uh, uh, October 2011. So try to protect, if you've got some land where you can protect the pollinators and, and protect the wildflowers as late as possible into the fall, please do it. Till next time, Ms. Aubrey Shepherd asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya.